Hello everybody, I'm the Sonic Arrow, and here is the game I talked about during Batman Arkham City. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. I'm not excited! I played Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma, also known and called Zero Time Dilemma, by the community. At least I think. Hopefully I'm correct on that one because I read that somewhere. Hopefully it's right. But this game mwah, is the first game. The beautiful, first, awful, deathly game. So Zero Time Dilemma was basically, well, I'll show you, but uh, it was basically a visual novel, choose your own adventure book type game. And this one, I'm not sure. I never saw actual gameplay for this one, but it looks like it's a visual novel, too. Now, this is part of the collection on Steam called The Nonary Games, which is nine hours, nine persons, nine doors, or 999, as titled by the community, and VLR, or Virtue's Last Reward. That is the sequel to this game, and I will play that one, too. Uh, Zero Time Dilemma is kind of the, the middle ground. Like, it happens in the middle of both of the games. Like, it's a it's an interlude, if you will. Like, Final Fantasy IV interlude. Like, when the whole collection came out for Final Fantasy IV on the PlayStation Portable. Love it. Have it. Digitally, of course. Uh, interlude was the branch between Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy IV. The After Years. So, this one is Final Fantasy IV, uh, for example. And Virtue's Last Reward is The After Years. And Zero Time Dilemma is the third game released. I don't I don't know about Interlude. I don't know if it was the third game released. But it's the bridge between the two. Or it happens between. Probably not related. But this game. You are captured by a maniac and given a watch. From what I've seen, I think it's a watch. That... It does something. I don't know. I mean, it was Zero Time Dilemma. The watch had very specific functions. I'm not going to tell you what they are until we get to that game and we see for ourselves. So I'm going to let it... I'm going to let the game talk for itself. There's no sound. I have 30 save slots. Oh, Jesus. No! <laughs> we'll save here in the prologue. This game is fiction. All names, characters, and incidents portrayed in this are fictional. Two modes of play, novel, and adventure. Switch in and out of each. Oh, here's the volume! Nine. Eight. Seven. What happens at zero? I'm not excited for this game. <laughs> like, I hated. A loud noise startled Junpei awake and his eyes snapped open. Jun I recognize some of these names. Junpei is a dude, by the way, and he was in Zero Time Dilemma. I'm not excited about this game. Zero Time Dilemma was bloody brutal and shocking. Zero Escape is basically the anime adaptation of Saw. I'm not happy. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Just a delight he realized. Ow! What? The crack Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself, but he found himself groping at empty air. <laughs> Whoa! His balance lost and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on. Junpei tumbled to the cold gray floor. Are we on a ship? Ouch! God damn it! God, what the hell? <laughs> a bed? I feel pretty. F I fell pretty far. I feel pretty far. <laughs> 
far. <laughs> I fell pretty far. Oh, that really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. It must have hit my head. No, wait, that's not it. An earthquake? But it's shaking too fast for that. <laughs> anyway, you're on a boat, dumbass! Where am I? Oh, where am I? Oh, boy. Wait, it stopped? You're on a boat. What's that sound? It's the sound of your ball. In her bed, snoring. Because she has sleep apnea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is it is early in the morning. I was awoken by a silver alert. Uh, not in my area, but I'm, I'm keeping a look at it. Oh god, I was awoken by a silver alert at nine this morning. It's Sunday. I go back to school tomorrow. <laughs> she has sleep at me. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh, it's happening <laughs> again! That's. five? What's this five mean? Are you person number five? Ugh, it won't open. Ugh, it won't open. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Why is there no m sound? Hey, hello, is anyone there? Open the door! <laughs> What is wrong with the audio? Huh? What the hell is this? A watch? Oh, hey, look at that. I read ahead. Sorry. Hmm, doesn't look like one. Five. That's, that's the same as the door. Well, how do I take this off? Are you pushing something else to work? Nothing. Damn, guess I'll have to force it off. No oh, good. The stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? Why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? Oh, Ugh, my head. Okay, hold on just a jiff. Yeah, return to the title screen because goddamn. Volume's up. Reset to default. Cursor speed fast. Skip text off. Turn it all the way up. Hold on just a jiff. And while the game is loading back up, I forgot that I pressed no on the do you want to allow Steam to make changes to this device. So it's setting up the first time running thing, and that's probably what happened. Okay, here we go! Now there's sound. I'm turning this down now. I brought a doll waiting to turn it down for you guys to hold on. Uh, actually, I probably not. Games of fiction, all names, characters, and incidents, two months of play, novel and adventure, switch in and out of each interchangeably. Oh, no. Can't skip this, so we're going through this again. Nine. Seven. Ugh. Oh. Why didn't I save? Could have saved. I didn't. I'm an idiot. So there's also a, another game in this series besides the three Zero Escape games. There's AI, the Somnium Files. And that one you play as a detective. And I'm not sure what that game entails, but. It was part of the Zero Escape series, too, so I just bought all of them. Loud noise started Junpei waking his eyes what? snapped open. What the? As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't recognize the surroundings. With a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself, but he found himself groping in empty air. Whoa! His balance lost in his... Still fuzzy mind, struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled to the cold gray floor. Ouch, God damn it. Ah, what the hell? Yeah, this is pretty faithful to Junpei's voice from uh, Zero Time Dilemma. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna reference everything I know about Zero Time Dilemma throughout this game. I played it on my own on the on Citra, but I'm gonna redo it on here because Citra was an awkward screen setup and was not very good. Now, what I like about this game is you can play with mouse and keyboard, or a gamepad, or a PS4 controller. So I chose gamepad just because I'm spoiled for choice. A bed? Ah, that fell pretty far. Ah, that really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. Oh, wait. That's not it. An earthquake. But it, it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Stopped? What's that sound? Again, I reiterate. <laughs> it's your mom. <laughs> In her bed. Snoring. <laughs> because she has sleep apnea. Oh, oh my god. That was a... F <laughs> that was a very funny. That was hilarious because it's so early in the goddamn morning. It's early. It's early for me anyway. It's like it's almost ten thirty now. But God, I am not used to getting up before That's noon. Five. What's this five mean? Ah, it won't open. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Hey, hello. Is anyone there? Open the door. was this the watch a watch it doesn't look like one five that's that's the same as the door what God, how do i take this off maybe pushing something on this will work nothing damn guess i'll have to force it off <gasps> Stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? Ah, ah, my head. Huh. This is. Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? Bingo! I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? What the? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What? What the hell is going on here? Hello? What the hell? God damn it! Hey, anyone? Hey, come on, if you're there, say Oops. something. Am I timed on this? Oh, hello, Junpei. Seek a way out. Am I timed on this? Like, I hope not, otherwise I am fucked. Third class cabin. Okay. Operations during an escape. During an escape. Your search is generic. Your goal, search around to uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Use the cursor to select a location you find suspicious to search the room. Oh. I, I know about this. Left stick controls, move the left stick during an escape to use the cursor. Press X to speed up movement. Press A to search where it's placed. Well, hello there. Doesn't look like I'm timed on this. Uh, boop. Bolton board. Looks like someone put a note on it. Well, can I examine the notes? Uh, 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 uh. There's a key card here. It's a key card reader. Guess that's a lever, huh? If I pull it. Well, it looks like nothing. 
Well, let me make some weird noise. Great. I still read and this place hasn't changed. Damn it. Why the hell isn't this thing opening? Because it needs a key card, dumbass! It's over here. Oh, 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 oh. Hello. No dice. Lock tight. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. Uh, boy. Small keyhole. I won't open it because I need to find, find the key. What's this? Some little bunk of the bunk. I know. I want this. Let's see if there's anything here. Huh. Looks like there is. I'll take that. Thank you very much. That key? Yep, that's the key. All right. Little blue one. Got items. Those of you me will go to the screen. Pressing while I'll take you behind the screen. Ah! Pretty small. Definitely not for a door. It's a four then. Key's blue. Is it supposed to be? It's blue. It's blue. And an item. And this is reaction. I know about this. Try switching items in hand to search different places. Uh, boop. Boop. I guess not. Door to the stove. That means easy enough for us to keep out here. Easy to open. Screwdriver. Whether or not the stove has been used before. What's this? Looks red. It's a screwdriver, you dumbass! Does this open this? This bookie works. All right. Let's see what happens with the key. And nothing. Guess we need some sort of code for the dial. Mini games during this game. Just make sure I say mini games. You need to be using LS and A. Left stick. So many games will require you to manipulate something while others will only require you to apply the right object or press the right thing. Operation instructions. Pressing the dial will cause a move to the next number. It's four numbers. This button press the key. If the numbers are correct, it will unlock. I don't know. Damn it. Open, you stupid thing. It's going to work if I whack it on the walk up time. It's going to make me feel better. Not going to help, though. All right, Junpei, don't freak out. Keep it cool and look around for some more clues. Yeah, exactly. So I'm guessing... It's something to do with the bulletin board. What's this? Picture frame sitting on the top shelf. Ah! A picture frame. Picture of a ship in it. Screws keeping back on. Aha! Uh, oh, why? Screwdriver got the screws off easily enough, and there's the picture. Ah! <laughs> okay, so. It, it's, uh. Mining items, blah, 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 blah. Alright, um... Bolton board looks like something going on it. Can I put this on it? Uh, okay. Seven, four, six, three? Yeah, seven, four, six, three. Yes. That's not it? That has to be it. Show me the way. Uh... Seven, four, six, and three. Seven, four, six, three. Are they color specific? What's this? Oh, small key. Oh, I get it! I get it! Time for this? I'm back. Don't make anyone respond. Oh, man, work was rough today. Huh? A breeze. 
Huh, that's, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. Hello there. What? Who are... I... I can't... Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. You are going to participate in a game. The Nunnery Game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him... Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Just who was that? They said, you have been chosen. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in a game. The Nunnery Game. Mm -hmm. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. Do we have time for this right now? The Nunnery Game. Huh. What the hell is a Nunnery Game? Ugh, God damn it! Yeah, thank you! Okay, now I get it. Going through the window, it's like a waterfall. I mean, it shows it anyway, it's gonna stop the water. But I don't want to die, I need to find a way out of this room. Figure this out. Doesn't seem like there's anything hidden on the sink. This is the only drain in this room. It's not gonna be enough to stop all that water. What's this? Nothing. Five. Five, huh? What does that mean? on the side of the thing looks like to have a key card swipe through or something like that. If I find a card I can unlock this thing. Can I take the key out? I need to give someone a shot. I mean, that's obviously... Yeah, I'm gonna save here. D-deck, third-class captain. Oh! Oh, no! It's branching paths again! Okay, yeah, no. Uh, okay, it's not impossible. Totally stoked. Nothing inside there. Okay, well, then uh, what's over here? The red suitcase! The lock on this too is not open. Not opening. Jack's not doing anything at all. Well, Alright, move the dial. Turn the key. If I do that, it should pop open. Let's give it a shot. Seven four six three.
Not opening. What am I gonna do? Standing around the world stories, there's no point in guessing random, but we need to find some sort of hint. It's gotta do with this, right? Right? One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So another bunch of numbers and symbols on the back of the picture, huh? Hold on. So six and three are the last two of the blue, and seven and four are the first two of the red one. What am I missing? Seven four one one, and then six three. Oh nine six three? No, nah, that can't be it. This photo. One two five empty and six three nine as well as zero are colored in. So it's going to do the relation between the symbols and the numbers. Yeah, the filled in one. Seven and four, then six and three. I'm at a loss. Like, it's what? Okay, nothing there. Pair of simple chairs next to the table while it's already up to the chair. The red five on the door. So it's a red five. <sighs> so five is the complete empty picture. On red? No. That can't be it. No, it's, that's not it. Okay, what's the... What's the pair for the five? Empty. So red is supposed to be empty. But so is blue. That makes no sense. Pipe at the other end of the bed. There's nothing up top. Nothing left on the mirror. What was on the mirror anyway? Oh, the key, right. What am I missing? Well, can reach this bunk. Might as well look through it. Huh? Damn, nothing here. I've got it. If I pull up the sheets and shove them in the window, maybe that'll stop water. Alright, well, let's see how you like this. Shoot, that's not gonna happen. There's way too much water coming through there. Maybe these sheets are gonna be enough to plug up that window. Guess there's only more I'm gonna look through this. We're getting the hell out of this room. After all, there's not really anything else I can do. Can't see the bottom of the ladder. Oh man, the water's already to the bottom of the bed. Gotta hurry this up. Can keep looking until the cows come home. I'm only gonna find here's that pillow. Damn it! There isn't anything else I can use. Just my brain. A little bunch of the marriage only needs one though. So blue, like what? What the hell is wrong with blue? Is there an indicator on the goddamn thing about the hell I'm doing? It's a closet. There's no indication on what I'm doing. Should have examined those keys first. Uh, da, 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 da. So it's not impossible. I just gotta use my brain. Oh, can't bring myself to call this a bed. Feels like a board with a sheet on. It's pretty flat. Ah! 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 Ha, ha! I'm a genius! No, I'm not really. Bolton board looks like someone put a note on it. Ha 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 ha! Okay! 
we got five. No, we got zero. No, 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 no. We got zero, two, six, and three on blue. Zero, zero, two, Ah-ha-ha! Turn to the key and... Hey, looks like it's working. Yes, all right, let's open it up. Yes, it opened. Looks like there's something in here. What is this? A file? File screen. If you find information containing them available on the file screen, press blah to open the file screen. See what's in this file. Hmm, digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. First, add all the numbers in question to one another. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another. For instance, if you have a double digit number... Add the number in the tens place to the number in the ones place. Keep adding digits in this manner until you have a single digit answer. The final single digit is your digital root. Example, the digital root of 678 would be... Let's see, uh... 615, 12. 3! Haha, I'm right! But for the digital root of 678 is 3. Example, the digital root of 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 7, 9, 1. Or for the digital root of 1, 2, 3, 4 is 1. I see, so I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit number. Oh, looks like there's something on the back of this thing. Notebook, a pen, a calculator. And a stack of key cards. Huh. Oh, oh, lovely. New material has been added to the file screen. Sweet. Calculator, press blah to open the calculator. Calculator can also calculate a digital root, which will be important to the progression of the story. Oh, ah, what do you know? Not a lot, but, uh, let's see, uh... Uh, something five. Uh, eight five. First was six. Okay, six three eight five. No, not one more time. Dang it. Oh, wait, no. 7 4. Yeah, 7 4 8 5. Boom! I unlocked it. Opening red key cards. Stack of red key cards. What? Okay, key cards number on each one. One, two, three. Nope. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna do much. I'm sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. Alright, let's sell these cards and see if they work. And... Huh? It's not working? Why? Damn it! No. No, that's right. I still have cards I haven't used. Damn it, not again. I don't need more cards in here. We've got one other hint. Of course, the files. Some digital root, digital root. Digital root, huh? What am I supposed to do with... There's a five on that door. Do I have to get a digital root of five? Not really sure about this. Eh, whatever, it's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. Just like the cards give me the digital root of five through the reader. Aha! So let's see. What about. Okay, I've got one, two, three, six, seven, and eight. Let's see. Um. Okay, what equals. What would equal five? Two, six, seven, right? No. Wait, yeah, that's right. It's not working. Alright, just need to pick the cards. Which one is three? Or how about eight, two, three, thirteen, one, three, four? Okay, let's see. Uh it's not one, two, three, because that's six.
No, 237 is a 3. See, three six seven is three six seven. Okay, that's thirteen, which is four plus three. No, one six seven, thirteen for aha. This is gonna work. There we go. That's a new noise, huh? Did it just unlock? Uh, that was red. Now it's blue. No doubt about it. Let me get me in here now. Time to go. Escape! What's gonna go wrong? Oh, you found it. Okay. Ow! Uh, my head! Wait, is it... Is it over? Whew. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. <laughs> well, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a hallway? Oh. A door. Another door. Damn this water. God, let me go. Oh, yes. It opened. What? What the hell? This is the inside of a ship? Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Wait, what the hell? A wave? Oh shit! Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here! Sea uh, deck! Next. Is it though? What? People. A lot of people. Um. Uh. Um, uh I guess it's another one of these now. Yeah, I'm a, a dancer. No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well, okay then. Silver hair? Huh? <laughs> One of us, huh? Mm uh hmm -huh. What? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! That's nine of us, then. Yes. All of the cards are in hand. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Huh? Uh, uh. <laughs> ah. What was that all about? Hey! What the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? Uh. The doors on A deck are no good. We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! Oh. Hey, man, that was dangerous. Huh? Four? And this one says. Five. They're the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too. My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspect that the rest of you. <laughs> me too. Huh. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? <sighs> Open! Damn it! Not opening. This 
damn thing won't even budge. Wait, it probably corresponds to my watch, right? Out of my way. Try getting a root! What was that file? Oh, whoops. Scarcely taking a step when... At the top of the stairs next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. Akane. It was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze and able to look away from her face. It wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. Girl 2 stared at Junpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Her name is Akane, and they are both tossed into the game again in Zero Time Dilemma. Huh? Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly toward her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. As Junpei stopped on her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. Yeah! The quake caught the girl unprepared and she Watch fell. Out. Moving on instinct, Junpei leapt to catch her. Or so he thought. Uh. Her face was far closer than it should have been, mere inches from his own. Yeah. He was flat on his back and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did and her face suggested she still hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment that seemed to stretch for a very long time, they stared at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at the walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete, a thick, muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened oh her mouth. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? Jumpy. Jumpy. Her words echoed through Jun Junpei's head, and suddenly his memory uh, returned. Akane. Yep. Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Kurashiki. She and Jupe had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. What was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. He could feel his face heating up. That moment... And here he is. So, I know who this guy is. Like, I'm going to be straight with you. I know who this guy is. Because in Zero Time Dilemma, there's a callback to him. What? What's that voice? Bastard is what he is. This is... In the gas mask. Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay, there were four. Okay, on the stairs, I'm remembering the four people coming down the left side, three people coming down the right. That makes eight, nine. Okay, yeah, there is still nine. What do you mean to do to us? Okay, the heater is running. God, Metro squeaks. Nonary game. What the hell's that? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm thinking about Zero's name like the number. Like, obviously. But, like, is it a root? But, no, you can never have a root of zero. You can have... You can't have... 
G okay, even 55. That's 10, which comes out to 1. So no matter how small you get, you can never get lower than 1. So 0 is not a, di a number, a digital root. What is he talking about? Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. We will call them numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelet that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that digital root, that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all those who enter must contribute. The purpose of this game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Hmm. So, like, four, four, six. No, that's not right. Shit. Uh... Wait. No. Four, five, and six. No. Four, five, four? Not, no. Nope. Let's see. Uh, uh, four, eight, six. Like, that could work. Like, fourteen... So, 8 and 6 is 14. 1 and 4 is 5. 4 and 5 are 9. So, 4, 8, and 6 need to survive. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. Emblazoned? We will call them the number oh. doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Nine doors, nine persons, nine hours. Uh, our dude's never safe from Titanic references. Uh, never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. Proceeds to let go. <laughs> it begins now. over by the stairs. Is that four or five dings? It's the clock telling us the time. It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Or 6 p.m. because Junpei was under the water. What do you want to bet the clock actually counts backwards and it counts down the time? 
Yeah, so this psycho is like Jigsaw from uh, the Saw franchise. John Kramer. Hey, you bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Uh, that guy won't stop shouting. I've been avoiding spoilers for this game on Reddit for like ever. I needed to finish Batman Arkham City because I started that when I bought this game. And now I'm ecstatic because this is honestly probably one of my favorite horrific franchises ever. Uh. I guarantee it's for some other purpose because if he's like John Kramer, then it's to purge the sinners of the world, or purge the unpure or the the evil or something. Why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others? Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Akane. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Okay, I'm checking on the audio. I'm, I'm making sure it doesn't look to be too loud. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this, this zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched A-Deck already, right? She's wearing low-rise jeans, like, that is the equivalent of low waistband, and it is scary! Yeah, we were kind of in a rush, though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. Okay, I am going to spoil a little bit of Zero Time Dilemma. There are, again, nine people. And so, they're split into three teams of three. They're all, they all think they're working against each other, or they have to just trust one another to survive and get the good ending. Now, I wonder if they're going to split into teams of three here, because you need at least three people to enter a room. I don't know... But that would be crazy. What the hell? It's completely submerged. Jesus. Damn. The water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. It looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Hold it. 
stuck on A deck and C deck, then why don't we check C deck? Before we jump to conclusions. I think they meant B deck. Huh? Stuck on A deck and C deck. Oh, you missed B deck entirely. Staircase too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door, and I don't see an authentication device either. Nope, it's locked. This one too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. <sighs> this one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man, give me a hand. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. It won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Your your outfit's gonna give me a heart attack. Sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Try using your brain first. You're one to talk. Huh? Take a closer look. It's got a keyhole. A keyhole? Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat> a key, huh? Hold on, I wanna see I wanna see the flow. So we can branch off here, but we rejoin here, split off into three whatever's here, we kinda join back there. One, two, three, four, five endings. There's not another dead end path. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Zero time dilemma had one of these things too. You got a problem? No, I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. Does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. I don't have items. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. I think it's a number in a different language. This is the symbol of Saturn. Ah! It's an astrological symbol. Then, the mark on the other door... I think that was the sun symbol. Yeah, a circle with a dot in it is the sun. We saw the same symbols on A deck. We did? I don't remember that. A deck, huh? I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. We may as well check again since we're talking about it. There, the two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. That's the Earth. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. A circle with a plus is the Earth. This is an Earth symbol. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. Yep. I, t I took an intro to astrology class, so all these things are vibing with me. I see. Hmm. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. <gasps> Be realistic. <gasps> We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows, too. Huh. They're all covered. In other words... We're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Hmm. I was trying to, uh get to the settings to have auto text go without having to press well, a button. I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. You know what? I got out of there. All right.
There we go. Now, it, here we go. They're all covered. What? In other words, we're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Well, Here we go. Sure X. Somewhere. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. Could be. No. I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. Laura's jeans! Jesus! We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. I can't stay here forever. Yes, I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what'll happen. We should stay here. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Uh. Hey, shut up! Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. Message from the dark What's side that? There is. Oh, we right. need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jump? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop. Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would. We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. Why don't we have code names? Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Seven? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm gonna be Santa. Any of you chumps know Japanese? Sun means three, so I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? Then your bracelet number. Three. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. Huh. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Eight. Eight. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. My bracelet number is two. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. Huh? You can't see? I knew it. Me next. I want to be Clover. 
four. You know, like a four leaf clover. Good luck, right? All right, my number's five. So my code name is gonna be. Why have one? It's not like there's any point to it now. Oh yeah. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Oh. Then you should all call me by my name too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem. Are you thinking it's not fair to Jumpy? You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh, What's your bracelet number? It's six. All right then. Uh, why don't we call you June? June? Yeah, you know, it's the it's the sixth month of the year. So you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay then. So this is how everyone breaks down. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. One is Ace. Two. Six is June. Oops. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Here, just no. Get there. Here we go. One is Ace, two is Snake, three is Santa, four is Clover, five is me, six is June. We're missing number nine. Aren't we? Seven is seven. Seven. And eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is... That glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. Where'd he go? You haven't said a thing so far, have you? Uh, <laughs> what number are you? Nine. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? Uh, code name? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not gonna stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah. All right. Let me show you. I'm going to do this. <laughs> hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Stay back. Ah. If you get any closer, I'll cut her open. Uh. Yeah, that's right. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you, this is my plan. What are you going to do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <laughs> Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here. Verify. Huh? The left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel. The round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> Just do it. Do it now. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this. So that's how it works. We call that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Then, 
Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Door 5. Why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly what to do. Good. Good. You're done. Next? You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes. I am. So? Th then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. Hold on. What door is he going for? Is he going for number four? Or number five? Four, one, I mean... And then he'll use his number nine. It's the five door. What are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? has both Clover and Ace's numbers, 4 and 1. 4 plus 1 plus 5. It's the same as the number written on the door. But it won't open yet. Only 3 to 5 people can pass through one numbered door. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Nine. Get back. No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four and Ace is one. Added to the ninth man's nine. Four plus one plus nine is fourteen. And the digital root of fourteen, one plus four, is five. In other words... <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Good. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Wait. Here. She's all yours. Okay, have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye. <sighs> Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it! That bastard! Open, damn it! Shit! It won't budge. Do you hear something? Like, what? Like, some sort of beeping. You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it! You... You lied! Lied? This wasn't supposed to happen! This is wrong! This is wrong! What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! God damn it! Why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? 
Oh my god, oh my god, there's no time left. Oh. Listen, I was lied to. He lied to me. He put me in here. It was him. He killed me. It was him. <laughs> A beep? Did that thing just make that sound? Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number. But it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. Five. Ace and Lotus. Ace, Lotus, you think you could give me a hand here? Hmm. Five plus one plus eight equals fourteen. The digital root of fourteen, one plus four equals five. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. Wait. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. Whoa. Five, one, and eight. One plus eight equals nine. Nine plus five equals fourteen. One plus four is five. That's how it was supposed to go. You add the ten to the ones place. And then you keep going ten and one until you got a single digit. Oh my god. June, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where did this fever come from? Uh... All right, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. How are you feeling? Are you all right? Hold on, digital roots. Uh, add all the digits to one another. Oh! I'm dumb, a dumbass. You know what the fuck is going on here? Who's zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? <laughs> it's ten o'clock then. It's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero was going on about is up! Let's get going already! Go! Go! No, I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. Hold it. He went in alone? And broke the rules. But I'm gonna save here. And I'm gonna have to end the episode. So thank you everybody so much for the premiere of this series that I'm super excited for. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, it's gonna be a blast. I'm gonna have so much fun with this one. <laughs> no, I'm dead inside. I, I hate this. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this game, why? You're a you're a you're just like me. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This is gonna be a fun one. I like this one. I actually do. I was.
I was making a gas before, but I really like this one. I, I really do. Like, this series, as twisted as it is, it's interesting. Like, I played Zero Time to Limit, now I want to know where this all started. I want to see in the beginning, because this game was released originally for the Nintendo DS, so, like, that's great. I could have played this on a DS emulator, but no, I'm not gonna. This game's pretty fantastic. I have to say, I like it. So, so far, thank you very so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!